Hello, good evening. Good evening, welcome, nice to see you. Carlos Miguel, good evening. Thank you for being here on time, okay? Janice, hello. Good evening, teacher. Hey, hey, in one minute, we are going to get started. I think that by now, everybody is in the platform, Good yes? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Good evening, Janice. Now your sound is excellent. And listen, eh, de ustedes tres, nadie ha tenido problema más para ingresar a la plataforma, ¿verdad? ¿Todo bien? Sí. Todo bien. Todo bien. Todo bien. Okay, very good. As I promised, everything is now nice. And remember to work every single day in the homeworks, okay? Recuerden trabajar cada día en las tareas para que no se les acumule, ¿de acuerdo? Uh, porque hoy sí vamos a acabar con la semana, entonces cada viernes es de, de tener las, las tareas al día. Además, no vamos a tener día de asueto en, esta, en este curso hasta en noviembre, ¿verdad? El día 2 de noviembre sí hay, hay asueto, pero en octubre no. Vamos a terminar hasta el día 28, ¿ok? So, it is exactly the time. I am so glad, class, that all of you are here. Thank you very much. And while the others join to the class, mientras los otros compañeros se unen, espero que no estén presentando ningún problema, ¿verdad? Con la conexión. Entonces, vamos a dar inicio porque ya saben que siempre el tiempo se nos vuelve corto, ¿ok? So I'm going to start sharing my PPT with you guys. Voy a comenzar a presentarles mi, mis diapositivas para que vayamos desarrollando. Okay, so it is so nice to have you here. Welcome, Brandon. Excellent to have you here. Great, great, great. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Thank you for joining to the class. Okay, and here I am. Going to get started by presenting the PPT, okay? I was not sure. Today is October the 1st, 2022. And it is, it is not sure to, I don't know why I'm still, because some of my students were in, in level one. My picture is in module one, okay? Mi, mi, mi mente está en el módulo 1 porque algunos de ustedes estuvieron conmigo en el módulo 1. So, my mind is, okay, so here is our video conference number two. Our first activity as every day is greetings. This is what I did. As uh, the second activity, we're going to have, as the general big activity, we're going to have a, a feedback of what we did yesterday. We are going to read the objectives as every day. We're going to talk today about daily routines at work. It is a feedback from level one, module one, right? Because you studied that in level one. We're going to continue working with time expressions for regular activities at work, okay? So you're going to be telling the time when you perform the activities, la hora en la que realizan las actividades en el trabajo. Then I expect to continue working on pages uh, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13, because it is about the same thing. Simple present tense, daily routines at work, okay? And you're going to be describing them. And at the end, the wrapping up of the class. So here we have the objectives for today. And I'm going to ask one of you to help me reading the objectives for today's class. Okay, who's going to be that volunteer? Only one. I am. Uh... Okay, thank you so much. Great, I appreciate your participation. Carlos Miguel, begin please. Uh, a specific objective participants will be able to describe activities in the workplace and other situations. Um, class objective participants will be able to use simple present statements. Thank you so much. So here we go. Remember that 
able, to be able is the verb. Will be able is the future, but the verb is to be able, okay? So the idea is that you uh, need to be able to describe activities at work and in other situations using the simple present tense, the simple present statements. Thank you so much, Carlos. And here we go over the feedback. If you remember class yesterday, we had a review on the verb to be. I am, you are, he is, she is, it is, we are, you are, they are in simple present tense. Yesterday, I also told you that we have you two times. Why? Do you remember why we have you two times? ¿Saben por qué tenemos you dos veces? ¿Se recuerda a alguien? Eh, uno es singular y otro es plural, creo. Okay, very well. And how are we going to determine to notice that we are using you in singular or in plural? ¿Cómo vamos a identificar? ¿Cómo nos vamos a dar cuenta si el rol gramatical del pronombre personal you es singular o plural? Do you remember? De... de... El sujeto está en plural, eh, en plural, students y ella student. Ok, el sustantivo, you are my student. En este caso, el sustantivo, ¿verdad? Porque el pronombre es you. Pronombre personal o sujeto de la oración es you. Student es el nombre o sustantivo, ¿de acuerdo? Here in singular and here in plural. Ok, and that was. And remember the conjugation in simple present tense of the verb to be. He is, she is, it is, yes? Okay, only for third person singular, he, she, it. For the rest, you use either singular or plural, are. And only, only for the first person singular, you use am, um, I am. Um. Is that okay? ¿Estamos bien hasta ahí? Yes? Okay, yes, great. Yes, yes. Excellent. And here, as... I told you yesterday, okay? We have I is the first person singular. You, the second person singular. He, third person singular. She, third person singular. It is the third person singular. We, the first person plural. You, the second person plural. And they is the third person plural, okay? Recuerden esto, ya se los compartí. I shared this slide yesterday uh, with you guys via WhatsApp, okay? Questions or comments about this? No, no questions, question, okay. no comments. So let's continue, thank you. And here we go. Negative sentences with the verb to be. We have here, I'm not, is not, are not, yes? I'm not, isn't, aren't. Here we have the full form. I'm not, is not for third person singular, he, she, it. Are not for the plurals in singular or in plural. And I'm not for the first person singular. But notice here in the contraction, we have I'm not, isn't, Aren't. What do you notice is different here in the contractions? ¿Qué es lo que sucede acá? ¿Qué notan que es diferente en las contracciones? Isn't, aren't, I'm not. ¿Qué pasa ahí? ¿Algún detalle? ¿Que noten diferente en las contracciones? Para el verbo tu bien presente simple. Um, agrega el is y el are. En I'm not. I'm not, no se puede contractar. No vamos a decir I'm not. No, va full, ¿verdad? I'm not, pero sí se puede contratar, contractar isn't, aren't. Entonces usted dice I am not, I'm not. En este caso, fíjense que estamos contractando el pronombre personal y el verbo to be, no el verbo to be y el negativo. Por eso es que sí podemos contractar el pronombre personal y el verbo to be para la primera persona, pero no podemos contractar el verbo to be y el negativo para la primera persona. No podemos decir, I, mm, 
not, no, no se puede. Luego, you are not, you're not. He is not, he's not. She is not, she's not. He is not, he's not. It is not, it's not. We are not, we're, we're not. You are not, you're not. They are not, they aren't, okay? Pero también podemos decir, I am not, you aren't. He isn't, she isn't, he isn't. It isn't, we aren't, you aren't, they aren't, right? Podemos contractar el sujeto con el verbo to be y podemos contractar el verbo to be y la negación, ¿de acuerdo? ¿Sí? ¿Estamos claros? ¿Que existen sí. dos posibilidades? Ok, here we go. Let's see, I'm going to stop. And welcome everyone. Remember to activate your cameras if you're so nice, okay? So here, we can use two uh, contractions. One, as I was telling you guys, with the, okay, with the subject and the verb to be. And not is complete or the verb to be and the negative. You can say, okay, here, negative to be, okay? You may say, I am not, it is the full, but you may say, I'm not, yes? You are contracting the subject and the verb to be, and then you say, I am not, porque acá no se puede contractar el verbo to be con el negativo, no vamos a decir I not, no. Entonces, solamente podemos contractar en negativo el pronombre personal y el verbo to be, pero la negación va completa, ¿ok? Noten ese detalle. And then we say, oh, sorry, uy, you, in singular, you are not. The negative, you aren't, yes? Y ahora contractamos. Mm. No, vamos a hacerlo primero como lo hicimos al principio. You're not. Uh -huh. Contractando, we contract the subject and the verb to be. And now, here, you aren't. Acá estamos contractando, ¿qué? El verbo to be y la partícula negativa, la negación, ¿sí? Que en el primer caso, primera persona de singular, no se puede. And then you have third person singular, he is not. ¿Cómo sería? The negative contracting the subject and the verb to be. Negative. He's not. And now contracting the verb to be and the negative. He isn't. Yes or no? He isn't. For she, she is not. You may say also, she's not. Yeah? Or she isn't. Is that okay? If you have any question or comment, please let me know, okay? Don't be shy. No tengan ninguna pena ni vergüenza de eh, preguntar. ¿Sí? o de comentar. It. It is not. Now you may say it's not. Or it isn't. It isn't, we say, right? It isn't. And then what else do we have? After it, we. We are not. We say, we're not. The other way to contract this expression, the verb to be and the negative. And then we say, we aren't. Yes, we aren't. You again is the same, either for singular or plural, no problem. You say, you are not. Then we say, you you're not. 
is now contracting the verb to be on the negative. You, we, that is zero. You aren't. Okay. And for they, ¿Quién me quiere ayudar con they? They are not. Excellent, congratulations. They, they are, are not. Not. They are not. Excellent, they are not, they aren't. They aren't. Great, excellent, you can do it, you see? And then here we have three different ways to uh, structure negations, negative. Okay, with the verb to be, you are not, you're not, you aren't, okay? Over here, he's not, he's not, and he isn't, she's not, she's not, she isn't, okay? And you need to pay close attention to the instructions in the evaluations or in the in the tests, okay? Deben tener mucho cuidado a leer las indicaciones. Si les piden que uh, use contractions of the verb to be and the neg in negative, entonces tienen que hacer la contracción del verbo to be y la negación. Por ejemplo, aren't, isn't, uh, I'm not. Recuerden que I'm not no se puede acortar en negativo, ¿verdad? No se puede hacer la contracción, ¿de acuerdo? O si les dicen Use the contracted form of the verb to be and the subject, okay? Porque los dos, los tres casos son bien comunes de utilizar y lo van a escuchar en la forma oral, en la forma regular que hablan las personas y en la escritura, okay? Teacher, una cosa. Yes. Entonces, en... en... En algún test que nos salga nos va a decir la indicación sí. la, contra, la sí. contracción del verbo el to be y el negativo o... correcto y, y usualmente se les pone un Ajá. ejemplo usted tiene que seguir el ejemplo de acuerdo sí porque usted puede decir no pero y es que este es negativo sí correcto es negativo pero hay que fijarse en el patrón que ellos les muestran sí porque es generative grammar Okay, de la estructura que les presentan, se van generando las demás, ¿sí? Y ahí no hay problema, ¿ok? Any other comment or question about it? No, everything is clear. Yes. ¿Estamos claros con el negativo? With the negative, ¿ya? Yeah? Ok, now we're going to continue, ¿ok? Because this was just a feedback. It was a review. Fue un feedback, okay? I'm going to stop here. And then let me read here. Hello, Juan Ezequiel. Welcome. Thank you. Okay, in two minutes, I'm going to take your attendance. And here, let's continue. Okay, guys. Here, if you remember, the, mm -hmm, the frequency words, yes or no? These are some of them. Always, never, often, rarely, sometimes, usually, yeah? ¿Se recuerdan? Always, 100%, siempre. Never, 0%, nunca, jamás. Nunca. Often, a menudo, con frecuencia. Rarely, rara veces. Muy raramente. Sometimes 50%, ¿ok? Algunas veces. Usually, usualmente, ¿ya? Yeah? Ok, so right now, what you are going to do is the following. Using these words, ¿ok? Look at the frequency adverbs, the one that I have read for you, and write them in the correct place in the sentences. Change the verb form if it is necessary to write the sentences in the correct word order. You have, for example, Fanny's sister, check her email every day. So what would you say? Fanny's 
cuál de estos, every day, todos los días, cuál de estos um, frequency words or frequency adverbs would you use? Always. Ok, and then the sentence should be, y la oración sería, Fanny's sister. Always check her email. Ajá, pero ¿qué sucede? Como estamos hablando de la hermana de Fanny, ¿qué cambio va a sufrir el verbo check? Checks. Excellent, very well. Ok, I'm going to share this with you via WhatsApp. Because some of you can work on the addition of it. Okay, on its addition. Would you like to work in, in teams or individually? Okay, thank you. Individually. You yes, gave me the answer. Okay, I'm going to share it. Yeah, because it is a feedback, right? And right now I'm going to share it with you via WhatsApp, okay? Okay, there you are. Okay, begin working. I have shared the material with you via, via WhatsApp, okay? Now, and please activate your cameras because I'm going to take your attendance because it is 8.21. Okay, here we go. And pay close at the microphone, Sana Marlene, your microphone. Close your microphone because we listen everything. And we are happy that you are happy, smiling, okay? Ah, oh, but you are the first one, Ana Marlene. <laughs> Okay, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, Ana Veronica, welcome. Good evening. Okay, thank you. Then we continue with Brandon. Where are you, Brandon? Brandon. Present. Okay, great. Excellent. Carlos Miguel. Present. Okay, thank you. Continue working with the sentences, okay? Carmen Guadalupe. Carmen Guadalupe is absent. Okay. Clelia, Estela Flores. Hello, Hola, Clelia. Hola. I was missing you yesterday. Thank you for being here. Dani. Present. Thank you, Dani. David Emanuel. Present teacher. Thank you. Edwin Roberto. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Ivania Elizabeth. Present. Thank you, Miss. Jenny's. Hello, Jenny's. Present teacher. Thank you. Jonathan. Jonathan Alexander, where are you? Here I am. Great, thanks. Jose Dimas. Jose Dimas is absent. Jonathan, I didn't recognize you because of something that you have on your on your on your head. You're wearing something. Yeah, you look like a priest. Uh, Jose Manuel Mejia. Jose Manuel, not yet. Jose Mario, Jose Mario Vaquerano is not here. Juan Ezequiel Rivera Lemus. Present. Thank you. Marli Goneida Garcia, absent. Nilton Alexander. Nilton Alexander. Present. Okay, uh -huh. thank you, sir. Person, person. <laughs> thank you so much. Serafín Constanza, not yet. Uh, okay, great, thank you. Uh, William Francisco, William. Uh, thank you, William. Filomena Luz. 
Present. Blanca Luz Delgado. Blanqui. Present. Present. Thank you, Miss. You're very responsible also. Alejandra Michelle. Present. Thank you, Miss. Beatriz Adriana. Absent. Noé Isaí. Where Present. are you, Noah? Okay, thank you. Present. Okay, thank you so much. We were missing you yesterday also. Okay, now you are ready. Dimas. Jose Dimas, where are you? He was here and then he left. Por acá, teacher, llegando. Ah, okay, Present. thank you. Yeah, sí. okay, I'm Present. going to double check your attendance. Okay, I'm going to take it. Thank you so much. Okay, guys, so here we go. And now you are going to provide me with the answers for this sentences. And remember that there is a specific place in order to uh, insert this sentence, this uh, frequency words, okay? So here we go. Mm -hmm. And then let me see, I'm going to stop sharing because I need to add something over here. This is the one, okay? So you tell me class, I'm going to diminish this and here we go, okay? <clears throat> So you tell me in number one, okay? Actually, you already told me, right? Number one, but you need everybody to be participating and to tell me the sentences, right? Okay. So here we agreed in number one, yes? Okay, so uh, we agreed that number one is Fanny's sister always, always checks her email, her email every day. Okay. And now number two, who wants to try? Number two, uh, I drink coffee in the afternoon. What would be one? Uh, um, okay. I, okay. I, I drink coffee. Okay. Coffee in the morning. Excuse me? Say it again, please. I drink uh -huh. coffee. Yes. I drink usually. coffee. Ah, then you say, I usually, I usually, okay. I usually drink. Porque recuerden que los adverbios van antes del verbo cuando no llevamos el verbo to be en la oración. I usually drink coffee. In the afternoon, okay? I usually drink coffee in the afternoon. What about number three? What could it be the, the, the complete sentence? Okay, Joseph goes at the beginning, obviously, right? Joseph, uh, watch TV on Sunday morning. Hello? Yeah, often. Okay, Joseph, often. Often. Often, watch TV. Ah, but it is their person singular in simple present. What is why, the change? Why? Yeah, yeah, why? Watch. No, watch. no lleva S. E, S. No ese. Recuerden, sí, recuerden los verbos que terminan en C, H, S, S. S-H-O-X, les agregamos E-S para tercera e persona de singular en presente simple, ¿ok? So, Joseph often watches TV on Sunday morning, ¿ok? 
Now, what about number four? Who wants to try Mary and Will get up late during the week? The subject is Mary and Will, yes? Mary and Will. Never, sorry. Okay, very well. Never. Never get up. Okay, get up. In this get case, up. as it is, compound subject, no change in the verb. Mary and Will never get up late. Get up late during the week. During the week. Okay, excellent. What about number five? He write letters on weekends. The subject is he. One possible uh, frequency word, write letters on weekends. Hello. Sometimes. Uh, sometimes. But we, but we, but we use the sometimes. Seeing, let's use another one because sometimes. we use sometimes. Uh, in which one? Sometimes. And usually, uh, we didn't use sometimes. Okay. Okay. He sometimes. Sometimes. Okay. Right. With s, right? Right. The complement mm -hmm. letters L letters on weekends. Excellent on weekends. Very well. And now number six, the last one. The subject is I. I. Okay. I. Now tell me one possible okay. frequency. I usually. I usually no, but in number two, we used usually. The one that we didn't use. El que no hemos utilizado. Rarely. 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 Okay. Rarely. I re sabemos que no es así, ¿verdad? Pero lo vamos a escribir porque es que no hace falta. Aquí sería always. I rarely. Rarely. Okay. Spend a, a lot of. Time on the phone, ¿ok? Fíjense que como en ninguna de las oraciones, el verbo principal es el verbo to be. Por lo tanto, todos los adverbios de frecuencia o frequency words fueron ubicados antes del verbo principal. Cuando el verbo principal es el verbo to be, la ubicación de los frequency adverbs o frequency words va después del verbo to be, ¿ok? Recordemos eso siempre. ¿Está ok? ¿Yes? Yeah. Okay, so, so you tell me when we can continue with the activity, ¿ok? When we can move. So, uh, yes. Uh, un ejemplo con el verbo to be para... Um, I'm going to write it over here, okay? After this one. In number seven, I am never late for class. Okay? I am never late for class. See? Uh, another one. They are always at school in the morning. Yeah, they are always at the school in the morning. Entonces se fija, después del verbo to be, en la number seven, am is the verb to be. Entonces después de am, ubicamos never. Y en la number eight, they are always are, is the verb to be conjugated. That is why we place the frequency word after the verb to be. Por eso ubicamos el adverbio de frecuencia o frequency word después del verbo to be, okay? So you tell me 
okay, when we can move to the next activity. Do you want me to share this slide via WhatsApp with this information? Okay. So you can have the sentences in there and here, and then we're going to get back, okay? But I need you to have it as a backup. Let's see if it accepts. Okay, yes. There you are, guys. You have it via WhatsApp right now. Okay. And you please let me know when we can move to the next activity, okay? Okay, two more minutes. So you finish writing this. Finish class. Hello, knock knock, somebody here. Not yet, I That's will so not. Good. Okay, not yet, okay.
Tell me, teacher, finished. Me avisan cuando terminen, chicos. So we can go over the speaking practice. Finish, finish. Ready, teacher. So in 30 seconds, we're going to get ready with um, the speaking activity. And I need you to look for your manual, okay? As soon as you finish the sentences, please get ready with your manual. We're going to work on the manual. Okay, class, here we go. Remember that you have these sentences in the, in the chat, okay? In the group. Because time is flying and you need to practice speaking. Okay, here we go. Ready with your manual? If you remember class, yesterday you were practicing this conversation, yes? about regular activities at work. And the conversation was between Sofia and Mario. And here we go. Sofia starts the conversation. What do you do every Monday morning? I check my email and I call clients for the rest of the morning. What about you? I have to read a weekly report and attend a meeting. I also have to organize meetings every two Mondays. Every two Mondays means in 15 days, okay? Twice a month, in other words. How often do you check your email? Do you check it every day? Yes, I do actually. I check it once or twice, once, or twice, okay, a day. Great, it is very important. This is the conversation you were practicing in the breakout rooms yesterday. And now class, I need to volunteers in order to practice here this conversation. Thank you, Carlos. I need another participant to help Carlos. We need a lady, we need a girl. Lady. Okay, Blanca Luz, <laughs> let's begin. Carlos, Miguel, you be, ah, no, uh, Blanca, you begin because you're going to read Sofia. Um, I am Sofia. No, or... no, Carlos, no, you, Mario. you are Mario. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> but later, remember, there is no problem because you will switch roles. Yesterday, you were switching roles, okay? <laughs> because they don't mention the name. Okay, let's begin. Like... Okay. What do you do every Monday morning? I check my email. Um, I call clients for the rest of the morning. What about you? I have to read a weekly report in attendance and meeting. I also have to organize meetings every two Mondays. How often do you check your email? Do you check it every day? Yes, do actually check it once or twice a day. Great. It is very important. Thank you very much for your participation. Two more volunteers. One boy and one girl. Lady. Edwin, you are going to read uh, Mario. <laughs> uh, no, Mario. And the girl <laughs> who's going to help Edwin to read. 
one girl? Yes. The... Or, or you say the name of the girl, Edwin, okay? You choose the partner. Selecciona la compañera que va a leer con usted, Matt, Edwin. Mm, no, no sé, Pichu. Hagamos una rifa. Ah, la raffle. Okay, let's see. No, no volunteers, no girls volunteers. Teacher. Ah, Jenny's Caroline is going to help you, Edwin. So, Jenny's, you're going to read Sophie, and Edwin is going to read Mario. Okay, here we go. To the count of three, you begin, people. One, two, three, please. What, what do you every Monday morning? I check my email and I call clients for the rest of the morning. What about you? I have to read a weekly report and attend a meeting. I also have to organ, organize, organize. organize organize meetings every two Mondays. How often do you check your email? Do you check it every day? Yes, I do actually check it all for this a day. Great, it is very important. Okay, remember, I check it together. I check it once or twice a day, once or twice a day, okay? Um, what about you? Attend meeting, I attend a meeting. Organize, organize meetings, reunions, okay? Parties, and now here, the answers. Discuss the answers to the questions below. What activities do Mario and Sofia do on Mondays? Mm -hmm. Tell me the answer. What are the activities that Mario and Sofia do on Mondays? Do you have the answers? Mario Jamie. May. Okay, here we say Mario checks me. Emails. Six emails. Emails and. ¿Y qué más hace? Call clients. And calls clients. Okay. And what does she do? What does Sophie do? Sofia. Okay, tell me. Read a weekly report. Sofia reads because it is third person singular. Reads. Yeah. Reads a week. Weekly, Eva. Weekly report. And, and what else? Organize and, meeting. And attend, attend. and organ and uh -huh. attend. attend a meeting. Uh -huh. And attend. Attend a meeting. A meeting. And organizes. Organizes meetings. Organizes meetings. Ah, but there is one thing over here. Uh, reads uh, and attends, yeah, because it is a person singular. Now, do you consider that it is important to check your email every day? It is important or no, it is not important? Yes, it is important. It's okay. very important. Okay, yes, it is very important. Important, okay, important. Now tell me the reasons why, one or two reasons why. It is very important. Yes, it is very important because, porque es importante. El leerlo, el correo, todos los días. Because there is, I do actually. <laughs> I do there actually. Is, actually. Because, no, because uh, there is. Uh -huh. Because there is um, communica, internal communication. Information. Oh. There is information. Uh, information. Important. Uh, there is, mm, because there is updated. Updated. Uh, updated information. Information. Uh, Información actualizada and 
updated and confidential information. Yes, and that's it. Okay, and there you are. Yes, it is very important because there is updated in updated and confidential information. Hay información actualizada y confidencial. Yes. Okay. Shall we move to the next activity? Podemos continuar con la siguiente actividad? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Very well. Let's scroll. And here it is your work, work related activities. We're going to work right now at page 10. And this is for you to do it, okay? You have on Mondays, I, I check my email, I type a letter, write a report, attend a meeting, call clients, read a report, visit clients, organize meetings. But here you have two spaces. Aquí tienen dos espacios. En estos dos espacios, ustedes van a escribir nine and ten, dos actividades que ustedes realizan en su trabajo, en su puesto de trabajo, pero que no están acá. Ok, let's do it. Complete these two spaces with two activities that you do. For example, if you say, I clean my desk, I clean the office, yes? I turn on the computer, yes? What else could it be? Mm -hmm. I, well, read a report, write a report. I print uh, files or information. Si imprimen información. Finished. Finished. Okay, tell me one of the activities that you wrote over here as number nine was. Pueden haber más, ¿verdad? Pero vamos a escribir una o dos, okay? That is not in here. Which one? ¿Cuál es la actividad que escribieron? Sí, teacher. Tell me, miss. Dígame, Miss, la oración, la, la actividad. Hacen. Cotizaciones, ¿Ah, sí? no sé cómo se dice. Quotes. Estamos. Cotizaciones, cotizamos. Make quotes. Make quotes. Make quotes. Ok, another one for number 10. Yo escribí la. Provide training. Provide training. Provide trainings. Okay, there are more. Okay, hay muchas más. De acuerdo? Because according to the nature of your of your uh, work, your activities, it is different. But now, here in exercise B, complete the sentences below with one activities from the box. Compare your answers with a partner. Acá vamos a completar estas oraciones utilizando, okay, Actividades de las que están acá, according to the context. Okay. Let's see. I call clients every day. I use the company's phone. Here, our secretary, then she sends them via email. What could it be the activity over here? 
Our secretary. Our secretary check email. Check email. Porque luego dice, luego se los envía, los envía vía correo, vía email. White report. White rep report. No es right, es right. Right. Ah, right. third person singular. Okay, rights. Right. Right. Reports. Then she sends them via email. Very well. What about number three? What could it be? I blah blah twice a day. I use my laptop computer. Check, I check my email. My... Excellent. I check my email. Okay. I check my email. Yeah. Number one. Email twice a day. I use my laptop computer. I have two every Monday at eight. Eh, no podría ser organ. Organize call clients. It um, could be. It could be. I have to call clients every Monday at eight. Another activity. Hay más de una. Okay. Um, you may say I have to call clients. Okay. But another activity that could be fit in there. That could fit in there. Otra que podría o también um, trabajarse acá. Check in. No, de las actividades que están acá. Uh -oh. Ok. Attend a meeting. a meeting. Excellent. I attend a meeting. Very well. You can use any of those. Ok. I call clients every Monday at 8. Or I have to attend a meeting every Monday at eight. What about number five, Celia? The meeting takes place in the auditorium. Organize Organizes me. Okay, Celia, organize or organizes? Organizes. Okay, meetings. Celia organizes meetings the meetings take place in the auditorium right and now you have to write here one sentence about you in my case i would write i have mm, anything uh, and let's see I have to write a report every Monday every Monday morning okay that is my case but what about you you have to write one activity that you do, that you perform at work on Monday. This is mine. Okay. Now that you are done with this activity, in groups, you are going to select five activities from the box and write one question for each. Interview one, one classmate per question and write the answers. Vamos a seleccionar por equipo cinco actividades de las que, de las diez que están allá, ¿verdad? Y van a escribir preguntas, van a redactar preguntas si se las hacen entre ustedes mismos. Por ejemplo, in present tense, how would you write in English? A question in order to know if your partner call clients. Do you? Do you call clients? Okay, imaginémonos que esta es una de las preguntas, ¿verdad? Porque call clients es una de las actividades. And then I'm going to ask this question. Let me see. 
the question goes to hmm, Nilton Vasquez. The question goes to you, Nilton. Nilton, okay. Give me the answer. Nilton, do you call clients? Nilton? Uh, yes, I, I yes. call clients. Yes, day. I do. Short answer. Ah, yes, yes, I, I do, do. Or no, I don't. Okay, easier for you. So did you get the idea, class? Todas las preguntas van a comenzar con do you. La actividad, question mark, y luego se hacen las preguntas entre ustedes mismos y escriben las respuestas, ¿ok? Yes, affirmative or negative. Yes, I do. No, I don't. ¿Is that ok? Sí, sí, comprendimos la actividad. ¿Sí? De estas actividades van a construir preguntas iniciando do you, mencionan la actividad y question mark, ¿ok? En equipo. Okay. So, um, that is exercise C. Okay, teacher. Okay, here we go. And right now, I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms. Remember, everybody must be participating. Okay? Todos y todas deben estar participando. Remember that I monitor your work in the platform and everything is recorded. Okay, here we go. Let's verify. Okay, class, here we go. Get ready because I'm going to send you the invitation so you can join the breakout rooms right now. Here. Ya les envié la invitación, chicos. Okay. Join your groups, please. Go to your groups and write the questions and practice speaking. Okay. I need Alejandra Michelle in group number one. I need Danny in group number three. He has a problem. But I need Filomena. Filomena, I need you in group number one. Filomena la necesito en el equipo uno. Y Alejandra Michelle también en el equipo uno. Please join your groups. Y Dani lo necesito en el equipo tres. Okay, let's begin. Alejandra Michelle, únase al equipo, por favor. Filomena también. Y Dani. Okay, bye.
because it is she, third person singular. And then she to work and when she gets there, she, okay, she does, goes, okay, she goes to work. She goes to work and when she gets there, she checks. Excellent, congratulations. Checks uh, her email and call calls. Calls. Excellent calls. Wow, congrats, super champions. In her daily list, Lisa and Claudia go. Go. Go with Dominic. Go. Go with Dominic. Go with Dominic. Because Lisa and Claudia, plural, go with Dominic. They Work. They go. They, they go to to hate to, to, hate. Hate. to, to have. have a lunch have together. Have a lunch. At four p.m. Dominic go 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 home goes goes home goes home. Okay, goes home, and that's it. Yes, yes. Very yes. well. So you see here, you were using the third person singular and the simple present tense in daily routines and also the time, okay? The frequency that you do the activities, that people do the activities and also you were practicing in the breakout rooms, okay? Questions or comments about this? No questions? work. Let's see. Okay. Uh, let me see. Double check. From Monday to Friday, Dominic wakes up at five and then she goes to work. Okay. And, and when they she go, gets they go there, as they, they work. Okay. okay. Let's see. Let's no. see. She checks her email and calls all the clients in her daily list. Lisa and Claudia. Work, work maybe work, here. Work. work with Dominic. They are co-workers. Wow, excellent. You are super champion. Work with Dominic. They go to have lunch together at 4 p.m. Dominic goes home. At 4 p.m., Dominic goes home. Okay, wow. very well. Great, excellent. Congratulations, class. You did it. Okay. Is that okay? Yes. Yeah. Okay, excellent. And now here, time expressions for regular activities. If you remember, we began with this. Okay. Si recuerdan al inicio, comenzamos con la frequency words. Okay. Usually, always, como repaso y como introducción también de la clase. Pero acá tenemos time expressions for regular activities. Every day, you know that. Every week, every month, every year. Cada día, cada semana, todos los días, todas las semanas o cada semana, cada mes y cada año. Daily, you know, when you do something every day, you say, for example, I, I check my email daily, weekly, uh -huh. and monthly, mensualmente, cada mes, weekly, cada semana, todas las semanas. And here, how to use time expressions. Daily for daily activities or routines, como les explicaba ayer, ¿verdad? Que utilizamos el presente simple y estas expresiones para las rutinas diarias, rutinas semanales, ya sea at home or at work. Schedule events or timetables para eventos o actividades que ya han sido programadas. ¿okay? Y para eh, nuestro horario que tenemos diario, nuestra rutina. So here, class, before we go, write five questions you can ask a classmate about a regular day at his or her job, similar to the previous activity. Esto es parecido a la actividad que ya hicieron en los breakout rooms. Use questions to interview a classmate about his or her daily activities and the time for each, okay? So here, we have time and what does he or she do? For example, what could be the question? Here you have spaces one, two, three, four, and five, okay? Based on the activities. If I say um, here, 
what time what time do you uh, check your email Jonathan what time do you check your email obviously at work okay what time do you check your email uh -huh. at at 8 10 a.m at 8 10 a.m yes okay did you get it yes okay now let's see now one of you tell me one one question and we're going to write it over here what time to do breakfast pero rutina de trabajo oh sorry <laughs> okay what what time <laughs> <laughs> okay what time do you read a report do you write a report <laughs> and the question goes to y la pregunta quién la va a contestar the question goes to At seven o'clock. No, at seven o'clock. Okay. And then at seven? Seven o'clock. O'clock in the morning, right? In the morning, yes. Okay. O'clock. At seven o'clock. In the morning. In the morning. And so on, okay. One more question. What time do you? Hello. Attend a meeting, attend a meeting. Do you attend a meeting? And the question goes to? ¿Quién va a responder? ¿A quién le vamos a preguntar? At eight o'clock. At eight o'clock. I, uh, I attend a meeting at eight o'clock, okay? Very early, yeah, many people very early, right? At eight o'clock. Mm. In the morning. Mm -hmm. At eight o'clock, o'clock a.m., yeah? And so on. One more, what time? Do you organize meetings? What time do you organize meetings? The potential answer should be at? At 10 o'clock at in the morning. 10 o'clock in the morning, yeah. And the last one, what time? Do you do visit a client? Do you visit, visit, visit clients? Clients. Okay. And the potential answer? At? 11. At 11 a.m. A.m. Okay, at 11 a.m. Okay. This is going to be the uh, activity we're going to have as a feedback tomorrow so you can practice speaking. Okay? Okay. And right now, class, I have to ask... Uh, let me see. Mm -hmm. Ruth. No, I'm going to ask uh, Bra Brandon. Where are you, Brandon? Brandon, Brandon, Brandon. Brandon, hello. Brandon, yes, hello. Okay, I need you to stay with me after class, okay? And for the rest of the class, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Take Thank care. You. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good, good night. Have bye. a good night. Bye bye. Happy bye. sleep. Bye. Happy sleep. Bye bye. Sweet dreams. See you tomorrow. Don't forget to work in the platform, okay? 
<ríe> Only Brandon is going to stay with me. Bye bye. 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 Juan, Ezequiel, bye bye. See you tomorrow. Ok, here. Vamos a trabajar un poquito. ¿Alguna duda que tenga sobre las estructuras que hemos estado viendo ahora, a Brandon? Eh, sí, teacher, yo pienso que yo me complico bastante con lo del verbo to be. Ah, ok, vamos a reforzar eso. Okay. Sí, sí a, mí, o sea, a mí me cuesta bastante. Sí, pero no se cierre con esa idea. Mucha gente se cierra y dice, ay, uh -huh. es que es dificilísimo y nada que ver. Vaya, veamos, el verbo to be en presente simple. To be, ok. Vamos a recordar lo que habíamos visto. Ah, pero tengo acá el, el en la diapositiva que les mostré a share. Acá tenemos el refuerzo, acá. El verbo to be, vea. Tenemos, primero estudiemos los subject pronouns. I, you, he, she, it, we, you, and they. Siempre nos han dicho que he, she, it, son tercera persona del singular. Pero jamás nos explicaban que había primera y segunda persona del singular, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Para que tengamos he, she, it como tercera persona del singular, tenemos I, primera persona del singular, yo. You, tú, usted, en singular, es la segunda persona. Luego tenemos we, donde usted y yo, nosotros, si hubiera una chica aquí, yo le diría nosotras, ¿ok? Si hubiera un caballero, diría usted nosotros, ¿de acuerdo? Nosotros. Es la primera persona de plural. Luego tenemos you. Lo tenemos como segunda persona de plural cuando ya no me refiero solo a usted, sino a varias personas. Yo les dije, you have to write questions. Ustedes tienen que escribir preguntas. A la clase me dirigí. Esta era este you, este segundo you, porque es second person plural. Y tenemos they, que es la tercera persona de plural, ¿de acuerdo? Que puede ser usado para ellos o ellas. Y también para mezclados los dos, tanto ellos como ellas. Entonces, para cada uno de estos pronombres personales tenemos el verbo to be. Para I usamos am. Para you, ya sea singular o plural, vamos a usar are. Exclusivamente para he, she, it, tercera persona de singular, usamos is. ¿De acuerdo? Y para todos los demás vamos a usar are. Recuerde que am es exclusivamente solo para la primera persona de singular. ¿De acuerdo? Para I. Muy bien, eso es en afirmativo. Ahora tenemos acá el negativo. I am not, I'm not, you are not, you're not, ¿verdad? Esto es en negativo. Fíjese que al mismo afirmativo, en forma completa, usted solo le va a agregar la palabra not y ya lo convirtió en negativo. Pero lo que les decía era que usted puede, en forma contractada, con hacer la contracción del verbo to be con el pronombre personal. Y decimos, I'm not, you're not, he's not, she's not, he's not, it's not, we're not, you're not, they're not. Pero también podemos hacer la forma contractada de el verbo to be y la contracción negativa, ¿verdad? la forma negativa. Pero para la primera persona de singular no se puede, solo decimos, I'm not. Pero usted ya con you, Puede decir you're not or you aren't, ¿sí? Ajá, you aren't. Entonces, trabajemos esto como acá. Bye. To be. Entonces, eh, vamos a trabajar el negativo, ¿verdad? Porque en el afirmativo okay. creo que no hay tanto problema. Entonces no sería, problema. De, si decimos, fíjese bien, I am not. Esa es la forma completa como se lo dije al principio, pero quizás no todos estaban conectados, ¿verdad? Entonces podemos nosotros hacer la forma contractada y decir I'm not. Acá estamos contractando el pronombre personal y el verbo to be, pero existe también otra contracción que es el verbo to be y el negativo 
pero para la primera persona de singular uh -huh, no funciona así, no se puede. Entonces, con los demás sí. If you say you are not, ¿verdad? La forma contractada sería you, you. Uh -huh. you're not. You're not. Acá estamos, fíjese bien, haciendo la contracción de el pronombre personal you y el verbo to be sería you're not. Ahora contractemos el verbo to be con el negativo y dejamos aparte el sujeto de la oración o pronombre personal y sería you aren't. Are you my student? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Okay. Yo le podría decir, you're not my student or you aren't my student. Y las dos están correctas. ¿Se fijan? Okay. ok. Muy bien. Entonces, entonces teacher, eh, en, digamos, en la primera persona sería solo I'm not. Sí, sí. No se ya puede no. contractar el verbo to be. I'm con not no se puede contractar porque mm. ¿cómo quedaría? I'm not. No, no se puede, ¿verdad? No Ajá, puede. en ese caso no se puede. Muy bien, eso es lo que quería que comprendiera. Ahora vamos con la tercera persona de singular. Sería he is not. No. Ahora, ¿cómo nos quedaría ya en forma contractada el pronombre personal y el verbo to be? He, he ok. Is not. Excellent, he is not. Y ahora vamos a contractar el verbo to be y el negativo. He, he. Isn't. He isn't. He isn't. He isn't. Ajá. Y si usted se fija y recuerda si ha escuchado he's not, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Y también ha escuchado he isn't. Ahora veámoslo con ella. She is not. No. Podemos decir mm. she, she she's is not. not. Excelente. ¿Y acá cómo sería? She, she isn't igual. Sí, sí. She isn't. Ahora vamos con it. Is not, right? Y acá sería. It's, it's not. Oh, it's not. Very well. It's not. Y ahora con el verbo to be y el negativo. It. it it's not. It isn't, it isn't. It Aquí is, es donde decimos, is. no, it isn't. No, it's not. No, it isn't. Y la dos está correcta, ¿de acuerdo? And now we. We are no. not. We. We are. We're, we're not. not. Okay. And now here. We. We are. We are not. We aren't. we aren't. Okay, we aren't. Very good. And now, um, you, in plural. You es igual que en el singular. You are not. You're, cuál not. Sería el... You're not. Very well. You're not. And then here, you. You are. You aren't. Very well. Ya que no cuesta, sí, mucho. And then they. They are they, not. Very well, they are not. They. they they're not. They are not. Very good. They are not. And the next one? They are. They are not. They aren't. They aren't. They aren't. Uh -huh. Muy bien. Entonces, anteriormente le mostré en la diapositiva affirmative for to be. Now negative. Ahora vamos con las preguntas. Decimos, yo le pregunto a usted, am I, am I your teacher? Am I your teacher? ¿Cómo me contestaría yo? Usted, si yo le pregunto, uh, soy su profesora, am I your teacher? Yes, I, yes, I am. No, no. no porque no, no le estoy preguntando de usted, le estoy preguntando de mi persona. No, yes, yes, I no, yes, I am, am, no. Am I your teacher? Am I your teacher? Yo le pregunto si yo soy su profesora. Am I your teacher? Yo, yes, you. Yes, you. Yes, you. Okay. 
you qué? El verbo. You are. Yeah. You are. Excellent. Yes, you are. Forma corta. Yes, you are. Fíjese que acá, como le estoy preguntando con I, me tiene que contestar con usted o con tú. Mm -hmm. Soy tu profesora si eres mi profesora. Soy tu profesora si usted es mi profesora. ¿Sí? Si fuera negativo, no, you aren't. Or no, no you're not. Ah, ok, muy bien. Ahora, are you my student? Acá sí le hago la pregunta directa a usted. Direct question to you. Are you my student? Yes, yes, I am. Excellent. Y aquí sí, mire, yes, I am. Porque oh. le pregunto a usted sobre usted, ¿de acuerdo? Yes, I am. And then... Is he a um, police officer? In affirmative? Afirmativo, mm. ¿cómo sería? La respuesta, is he a police officer? Le estoy preguntando por él. Is he a police officer? Yes. Yes, she. she he. No. Yes, he. Yes, he. he. He is. Excellent. Yes, he is. Él es el un policía, un oficial de la policía. Yes, he is. Now with she. Is she a, a chef? Yes. You, no. No, is she. Estamos preguntando por ella. Por ahí, ah, sería, uh -huh. sería she. Yes, yes she, she, is. she. Yes, she is. Excellent. Now, it. Is it, is it your dog? It's, uh, I mean, yes. negativa. Hoy tengo una respuesta negativa. No. Uh, no. No, no. No, no. Ahí mm -hmm. el, is it your dog? Your dog. ¿Cuál es el pronombre personal para dog? Este... Para animal o cosa, ¿cuál es el pronombre personal neutro que utilizamos? No te estoy diciendo. It, 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 acá lo tiene. ¿ve? Entonces sería no it. it. En negativo, no it. No, you are not. No, porque me está diciendo it, ve, mire, entonces sería no. No, it. No, it isn't. It is. No, it isn't or no, it's not. Ok, no, it isn't. Por eso insistí que me lo diera en negativo, ok. And now, uh, we. Are we, are we partners? Somos compañeros. Okay. Uh, in no. affirmative, ah, in negative, in negative, no, negative. Mm -hmm. no, no, we. Are... no, we, no, we are, okay, excellent, no, we aren't, and now, are they, hmm, are they tourists? No, they're, no, they, they no are, they are, Excellent. No, they aren't. No, they aren't. Okay. Acá lo hemos visto en forma afirmativa anteriormente, negative, mm -hmm. contracted form, full form, and in questions. Yes? Yes. Sí. Lo único que es a través de la práctica. ¿De acuerdo? Yes. Sí. Ok. Sí, es que en la forma negativa como que cuesta un poco más que... Así. Porque hay dos formas, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Pero sí, una sí. cosa, un tip. Fíjese que cuando le preguntan con you, contesta con I. Si uh -huh. le preguntan con I, contesta con you. ¿Sí? Uh -huh. Si le preguntan con he, contesta con he. Si le preguntan con she, contesta con she. Porque no le están preguntando a usted, sino que de él, de ella, o de un animal, o de una cosa. Si yo le pregunto, ¿Es this ruler yellow? Is it yellow? Es amarillo. Es amarilla. Yes, it. Sí. Yes, it is. Yes, it is, perdón. Porque it lo utilizamos para una cosa uh -huh. o un animal, un objeto. Uh 
Si yo le pregunto, ¿Is it yellow? Es amarilla, la regla. Yes, it is, yes. or no, it isn't. No, it okay. Is. ok, muy bien. Entonces, recuerde que it lo utilizamos para... Solo para un, cosas. En singular, pero una cosa, o un animal, un objeto. Ok. Okay. Si se quiere referir a varios animales, varios objetos o varias cosas, va a ser they. Okay. Si yo le pregunto, por ejemplo, are they your cars? En plural, son esos tus carros. Y es, no, yes, they, yes are. they are, or no, they aren't. Porque ah. ahí... They también se puede utilizar para animales o cosas. ¿Sí? Sí. Ok. Muy bien. I hope to have helped you. Espero haberle ayudado. Sí, muchas gracias, dicho, porque sí, realmente ahí sí. Uh -huh. Pero es a través de la sí. práctica, ¿de acuerdo? Sí. Y esto sí. siempre se va reforzando en todas las lecciones, ¿ok? Ok, teacher. Trate de... Um, de trabajar en la plataforma, ¿ok? Para que no se le acumule el trabajo. Y si tiene algún este... problema, me puede escribir en el chat o de forma directa, si es que le da pena escribirlo en el chat. ¿Okay? No, es que con, con la plataforma ya avancé do, las dos primeras semanas. Ah, ok. Las dos primeras oh. días, dos días. De... Yesterday and today. Sí, yes. Ah, ok, muy bien, no problem. Now, sleep well and see you tomorrow, ¿ok? Trate de conectarse a tiempo para que no se pierdan las actividades ni el repaso tampoco. Okay, okay, have a good night. Good night, Sleep teacher. Sleep well. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.